Hey, this is Chip with Fly Oz. In this video, I'll cover the Fly Oz Content Pack for Four Flight. If you're new to our Content Pack, this is your place to start. If you've been using them a while, we think you'll appreciate the changes we've made to version 5. Here's a brief summary of what you'll see in this latest version. First, Four Flight now allows for a much easier install of the Content Pack, and we've taken advantage of that in this version. A single click of the button is all you'll need. Next, we've added a lot of new data in this content pack. Besides expanding the airfield detail, we've also added a layer that highlights points of interest that you might see when you're touring the Ozarks. We've also included a new layer that gives information on the major lakes and rivers you'll be seeing while you're here. And even though we've added a lot of information, we've decreased the size of the content pack to make the installation faster. Finally, we've added an expiration date to the content pack to remind you when it's time to delete it and to download a new one. We have plans to make a lot more enhancements to our content packs over the next few months, so we hope you'll keep up to date. Let's start with how to remove a content pack from ForeFlight. If you have our content pack installed already, you'll need to remove it before you install a new one. And it's really easy to do. Just open ForeFlight, select More, and then Custom Content. If you have our content pack loaded, you'll find it on the left of the page. Click on that and then click on Delete Content Pack at the bottom of the page. You can verify the delete and that's all there is to it. It's easy, but it's important. You have to delete the existing content pack before you can download a new one. Now you're ready to load a new content pack. Here are a couple of important points before you start. First, you need to do this on the device that you have ForeFlight installed on. Using a browser on your computer won't work. And second, you have to have a Basic Plus or higher ForeFlight subscription to use Content Packs. If you have a Basic subscription, Content Packs won't load. Okay, on your iOS device, open a browser window, like Safari for example. Navigate to flyoz.com and click on the Land Here link. You should see a link there that will take you to the Content Pack page. Click on that and a page similar to this should open. Click on the download button and the ForeFlight app will open and the download will begin. You'll see the download status bar disappear when the download's finished and that's all there is to it. You can verify the content pack is properly loaded by clicking on More in ForeFlight and checking the content pack. Check the data at the top of the panel on the right and it should show the content pack version, the build date, and the expiration date. You can continue to use the content pack after it expires, but we plan on making continuous improvements, so you'll probably want to delete the expired pack and download a new one regularly. Now that you have the content pack loaded, let's take a look at how it works. You can show and hide the layers in the content pack by clicking on the Layer button at the top of the ForeFlight map screen. If you scroll down to the bottom of the Layer screen, you'll see several layers that start with the letters OZ. That's our content pack. With version 5, you'll see four map layers that start with Oz. The first is the airfields layer, and it shows where airstrips are located and whether or not they're okay to land at without permission. Those are the green ones, and we call them permissive strips. It also shows whether you need to satisfy some condition before you can go to one of the strips, and those are the strips in yellow. We call those conditional. Usually the condition is that you need to call and get permission. If you click on one of the airfields, a window will open that has two or three options at the bottom. All of the airfields have a more details link and an airfield guide link. We'll discuss those in just a second. Some of the more popular strips also have an overview link with much more detailed information about the strip. When you click on more details, you'll see a very ForeFlight like screen that provides basic information about the strip. Airport information, amenities, runway information, contact information for now. We're working on adding more information in future releases. So close that screen and click on the Airfield Guide link. This opens a PDF document that's a printout of the strip information from the Airfield Guide, just like you'd see if you clicked on the printout icon using the guide on your computer. There's a huge amount of information on this page. We hope to include that in the More Details page in the future. If you've clicked on an airport with an overview link, you'll see another PDF that gives a detailed narrative about the strip and quite a bit of detail about the runways, including ski slope ratings for each approach and departure. A few strips have additional information like this procedures page for trigger gap. And these screens all provide information about the fly strips, even when you aren't connected to the internet. 
The next layer is the airfield runways layer. This layer is generally used in conjunction with the airfields layer and provides extended runway center lines and runway numbers, as well as noise sensitive areas on the map. We include this information as a distinct layer because unless you're zoomed into an airstrip, it really clutters up the map. But once you're in the vicinity of an airstrip, it's a great layer to turn on to help you with situational awareness. Next is the POI layer. We've included this layer for visitors whose interest in the Ozarks goes beyond just the airstrips. Clicking on any of the POI markers will open a page with a link called More Information, which contains detail about the point. We'll be adding more points of interest in the future. The final layer in this version is the one labeled Rivers and Lakes. This layer provides information about bodies of water and major rivers and creeks that you might see while touring the Ozarks. Again, we'll be making additions to this layer in the future as well. We're already working on two additional layers, so keep checking back and downloading new versions. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the Fly Oz content pack. We hope it helps you enjoy flying in the Ozarks safely. And as always, call or email us for help with the content packs or for any information about flying in the Ozarks. Look us up on our website, flyoz.com, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Be safe. Come see us.